Yo, welcome to part 2, where I take down every single Elden Ring boss with a Frost Mage build. If you haven't seen part 1, the link's at the top right, but let's get into this. First up is the fire giant, we need to kill this guy and set fire to the earth tree just so we get access to the crumbling Faramazula, aka Ohio 2.0. Sword out. Please, for the love of God. How am I missing? Come on, just die. Thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was fumbling so hard. And now it's time for Godskin Duo, one of the most hated bosses in Elden Ring. The reason they're hated the most is because Duo boss fights are supposed to be a yin-yang experience where you have one boss that does a certain thing and one boss that does another thing. The only difference between these two bosses is their BMI and what weapon they carry. They're both super aggressive and just close you down no matter what. Let's go. Gods can duo first time. 
that's what I'm talking about. So now on to Malaketh. Now this guy gave me a very hard time. Because he's so quick and he moves around a lot, it was very tricky to get off a charged heavy attack, utilising the Ash of War of the Darkling Greatsword. And I died a fair few times. No way. No way! I can't get a heal on. I can't even hit him. This strategy doesn't work. The motherfucker doesn't let you heal. I don't know what he's doing! Mate, there's no chance. I'm dead already. Oh my god. Chasing me down. Thank god I broke his voice. I should have healed there. I'm gonna go into phase 2 now. Now it's time for Gideon the all-knowing, but he did not know that I was about to fuck him up in three hits. Sorry excuse for a boss. Get the fuck out of here! The Godfrey is a perfect showcase of why this build is so good. If you've got a big boss with a big weapon who's a bit slower, you can take the piss out of them from a distance with all your magic, and the Ash of War and the Dark Moon Greatsword. Let's go. Tarnished. Bye. Now it's time for Ragadon and Elden Beast. Now admittedly, this build isn't the best for this boss fight. However, it still does pretty well. Why is he doing these weird attack patterns? Okay, now I can punish you. 
Ah, oh, my sword ran out. He's like bugged out, man. He's not doing his normal. Why are you focusing on his head? Never done that. Drop Rex's poise, right? Oh, kill him! Yeah, let's go. Killed him with a spell as well. I'm the true Elden Lord right here, baby. Let's go. Now it's time for Melania. Hands down, one of the hardest bosses in all of the Souls like games. I died a bunch. And then I had to bitch out and use the Mimic Summon to try and kill her in the end. Oh my god, that was so dead. Oh mate. No. I'm so dead. Yeah, there's no way, mate. Okay, it's over. No, I felt good then. I'm so dead. I'm dead. It's too quick, mate. It's too quick. Punish me. No, I mistimed it. Go out, stagger up. Nice one.
Compose yourself. Let's go. I cheat with a mimic tear, but I don't care. The mark of a true lord. Let's go. Remember to a rock goddess. And there we have it, I've completed Elden Ring for the second time, taking down Melania as well. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below, like, sub and click on the notification bell to see you told every time I post. I'll chuck a couple links in the description of where I got this build from, try it out yourself and let me know what you think. Most importantly, take it easy out there. Peace.